welcome back hellhounds and today we're going to be diving further into the world of call of cthulhu um last we left off we kind of had a conversation with dr colden who as far as we know is actually deceased now we're looking for sarah once again Guess we'll see where the story takes us from here. Jump to conclusions? Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. What choice am I making? Does it have something to do with that call that I'm supposed to make? took your right to a normal life the moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? Uh, cause you're ugly. I don't know. But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know! Your fear the unknown and your stupid pride cloud your judgment. 
Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowering that brought you those medals. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. I'm almost there. Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. Shut up. How did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are. A truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Found my knife. Been missing that. Well then. It's my knife. Didn't it just, you know, handed it to me? Train. 
By making the call, everyone died. The end. Now, I'm kind of curious because I swear that there was supposed to be another ending. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one.